guys welcome back to pause and welcome to another planet zoo spotlight video so it's another day and another new screenshot has been released so this one was released in game informer magazine um, i believe today i think the magazine came out today or it's in the june 2019 issue um so yeah that came out very recently uh, and this screenshot is part of that article um, nothing really new in terms of information um, but it is another angle of the hippo enclosure that we have seen in previous screenshots um, it's, it's all these screenshots so far um, seem to be from the same zoo that has obviously been created for this purpose um, but yeah there's not much else to talk about in terms of new information uh, but it's interesting to see a look around um, from a different angle so the first thing that we'll talk about is over this direction over here. So as you can see, um, there's a quite a few different fence variants around this area. And um, we've got a sort of spine type looking point here, which to me seems like it kind of confirms the Jurassic World Evolution style of um, of fencing. Um, there is a little dot here which potentially could mean this one extends a bit further on. So I might be wrong with that, but it kind of gives that impression. Um, the actual steps itself looks like it's got some kind of fence underneath. So that's quite a high fence here. Whether that's going to be part of the same spine system, I don't know. Um, some new type of lan lan lanterns on here. Um, again, I don't know if these are going to be connected to the fence or you can put these in sort of piece by piece. I'm not sure, but obviously only time will tell there. Um, towards the background over here, I can't quite work out what it is. It looks like it's maybe a small um, enclosure for something. Uh, it could be a shop. I'm not sure, but this is something which I'm not entirely 100% what that is. Uh, but it's quite interesting to see this little area. Uh, a few little lights around the area. Well, I assume these are lights. Could be sensors for the animals or electric fence or something. But they, to me, they're like lights. Um, but yeah, there's not much else at the background, I'll be honest. I'll have a quick scoot around and I can't really see much else that we haven't already noticed in the back. Um, so there's not much we can talk about there other than look at all the hippos. <laughs> there's like, what, four there we can see? Uh, and ten, maybe some more somewhere else. But yeah, there's some, it's a good view of the hippos. Um, this piece here, I think, is the same um, log that we saw in the last screenshot and um, so that could confirm that this is just a scenery piece I, I did I still think it might be an enrichment item but obviously time will tell with that one um, okay so that is the main bit of this side of the actual enclosure uh, now let's talk about this section down here so obviously we've got this um, viewing area that to me looks like it's connected to the fence so whether that's a, just you build it and drag it towards the fence or it's part of the fencing tool uh, I don't know obviously that is still out there at the moment um, but it does look very much on the grid it looks very much on the grid building so whether you can attach grid building things to fences maybe that seems the most reasonable um, sort of solution to this and you can see from the, the beams on the roof and that it's definitely a, a grid system this one um, but the actual building itself looks nice. It's the, it's the best view we've had of this. Um, you can see a little canopy into it here, and then it's obviously a very fully glass roof, um, curved glass roof system. There's something on the wall there. It looks like it might be just a, a feature, uh, and this could, it's either going to be a canopy or just again it's flat to the wall. Can't quite tell. And there's something on the wall here. These potentially look like vents, and there's another one on the wall of the actual enclosure as well. Um, so vents potentially, speakers possibly, because um, obviously there is a whole thing about um, informing the guests and educating the guests of these animals, so potentially they're speakers, uh, but I'm not sure, we'll find out. Um, this looks like a bit of decking on the floor, so hopefully that's a different floor type that you can choose. This looks more of a tile down here. Uh, but now to the actual windows itself, so there's been a lot of speculation online about this being an underwater viewing area. Um, as you can see, the water level itself kind of flows around here, uh, and this whole area is water. I'm not convinced. I, I think the base of the water is actually the bottom of the uh, window just here. Um, so I don't personally think this is a underwater viewing area, as, as I've seen a lot of people mention. Um, 
I, I'm still quite confident that they will be underwater viewing areas in the game. I just don't think this is one of them. Um, now, the, the reason why I'm saying that is if you look at sort of where the general terrain height here is, and also this side, I think this is the height of the water. I think it is just level with the terrain around here because that, that wall goes lower than the, the train itself. So I think it's just a bit of an optical illusion, but I'm pretty sure this water line is level with this terrain that goes around, which makes me think this level here is the top of the water. Now, I could be wrong. It could be up here. I, I don't know. I'm just saying what it looks like to me. Um, so, yeah, but it, what is good is you can see that they are grouping and watching the animals. A very similar um, thing you can see over this side. These guys here look like they're grouping and watching this one. So whether that's going to be achieved through a sort of vista point, like in Planet Coaster, um, or potentially a bit of path that you can put down and say this is a viewing area, or is it just going to be organic that they look at an animal if they're in the area of an animal? Um, I mean, that's not above the realms of possibility. Uh, I think even Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 had guests which pointed at coasters and stuff when they walked past, uh, and, and characters and things, so it's not against the possibilities of what could happen. Um, but it's interesting to see, obviously, groups that are actively looking through the windows. So it gives the, a lot of realism to the enclosure, which is what we need. Um, so that's generally about it for this screenshot. I mean, there's not much to talk about other than this, uh, and obviously the speculation of the water. Um, the water itself, I will very quickly mention, does look amazing. Um, when you compare it to the kind of static crap water you get in Planet Coaster, and if we're being honest, Jurassic World Evolution isn't amazing either. Um, so yeah, I think the actual water looks incredible. It still doesn't um, confirm anything what happened underneath the surface. Um, is there going to be depth to this water? I mean, it certainly looks like it in the picture. De and this, it definitely seems like it. The way the shadows play as well um, seems like it's definitely had some improvements. Uh, and I'm still holding high, high hopes for underwater viewing areas. Um, but I just don't think this is the screenshot that confirms or denies that. Um, but that's just me personally. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments below. Um, if you uh, want to stay up to date with all the Planet Zoo news, don't forget to subscribe uh, and like this video if you found it useful. Um, I'll try and get all the latest information out as quick as possible. Been a bit delayed on this video, so I do apologise, but I've had a bit of a busy day. Um, but I've got here as soon as physically possible to get this update to you. So thank you guys ever so much for watching. Let me know your view, uh, your thoughts and views down below by dropping another comment. Um, if you fancy a chat, head over to Twitter or Discord. And if you want to help us out, you can do that by going to the Patreon page. All the links are down below in the description. But for now, thank you guys ever so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye.